Hello folks and welcome to my first episode of F1 20, uh, 22, nearly, <laughs> F1 22, uh, my team career mode. Uh, obviously we are at the first race which is at Bahrain in our new my team car. Uh, I will have you, let you have a look. Uh, I didn't do particularly well with the grid slot line up you can see i'm quite a way back from a grid slot uh i will walk you through all my choices in the next episode i just didn't have time to do it today unfortunately so this one is basically just going to be me talking through the race but let's get on the way and see how it went the average start lots of wheel spin on this game uh i will say it is much more difficult than last year's game. Obviously, I'm on a wheel now. See here, I'm just trying to keep my nose clean. I don't want to get any trouble. I got overtaken by a couple of cars. And then here we are with Guan Yu Zhou. I got a nice run up off of turn three, I'd say. See, they all slow up, and I just go clean around the outside of Guan Yu Zhou. See, so keep it in the track. I'm around the outside of him here, and then we go into the next corner side by side that's a terrible camera angle but we do make it past Guan Yu Zhou which I was very happy with and then we send it to the inside of Alex Albon as well uh, which I'm very happy with as well uh, I tell you what the AI racecraft on this game is incredibly good actually I will say but uh, see Alex Albon there making a huge mistake no contact from us but he just ran very wide and lost the position to Zhou um, but yeah, the racecraft from the AI so far, I, I can see is absolutely really, really good. Uh, two things I will say is do not trust what other F1 YouTubers are saying. Because a lot of them have been saying, oh, you want to reduce the weight, you want to do this, do that. But I will tell you the main thing I think you should concentrate on is power unit. Because uh, you'll see a little bit later on. The My Team Career car just has no power at all compared to the ones I'm using. I am using Red Bull Power Trains, uh, but as I said, I'll, so I'll talk you through that uh, in the next episode, which will hopefully be released tonight on the live stream. But yeah, we just seem to have no straight line speed at all in comparison to the other guys. Uh, so I actually made it out. Uh, no, I didn't, sorry. I, I, I finished P17 or 16, whatever, in quality but then Lando Norris somehow already picked up uh, an engine penalty and went to the back of the grid so we were ahead of him uh, along with uh, Sebastian Vettel as well actually so we, we inherited two positions straight away so that was good um, but yeah we're, we're doing all right here um, yeah my main goal in this race wasn't to score points or anything like that because I I've started as the newcomer team so obviously our car is probably like eighth best I think at, at the very highest so I was mainly just trying to get a bit of experience driving uh, you see I'm, I'm, I'm keeping with Lance Stroll but there seems to be a weird sort of uh, I don't know what to call it it's sort of like rubber banding I was I was catching Stroll and then I, I was doing very similar lap times and somehow I ended up further away from Stroll it was really sh quite strange, to be completely honest. I don't know what kept happening. See here, Kevin Magnussen with Vettel and Albon. Look at this, side by side. And Vettel just decided to back out. And then obviously, Oscar Piastri, our teammate, managed to get a mega run on Vettel. Yeah, but we had no straight line speed and we could not manage the ERS at all. Uh, yeah, I don't know how the AI do it, but we had about probably less than 10% of ERS for the whole race. I don't know why I wasn't using it that often. It just seemed to drain really quick and it just wouldn't build back up. There you go, onboard wheels. Uh, it's very, very tricky on the tracks in this game. I've struggled quite a lot to actually get any power down, but you see I'm having short shift very early just so I can get the power down, but you see, just short shifting so well, use a little bit of ERS there, and then down onto the brakes. Amazingly, I think I only locked up twice in the race, which for me, that's incredible, and I'm, I'm on a wheel, don't forget, so it's the 
first race on this game and I'm on a wheel so it will take some getting used to 100% and, but I think we will get the see I had a bit of a snap there but I'm hoping we will get used to it so yeah I'm hoping to be bringing quite a lot of uh, content back to the channel of course with the videos uh, hopefully when Mr. May gets the game as well we will do in the two player career mode but that's just a case of when Mr. May decides to get the game But yeah, hopefully the next episode will be uh, streamed by myself, of course. And I'm actually going to fast forward a little bit, because not much happened. Not much happened for a while, until we started to box, really. I'll show you here, look. I was within Stroll's DRS constantly. And then I open the DRS, and just don't catch him. But my DRS is clearly open. But I just don't make any progress towards him at all with the DRS. Whereas the cars behind me, when they had DRS, they flew past me. But I'm eight tenths behind Stroll here. Look, this is the closest I've been, pretty much. So it dropped all over a second, though, just in the straight line. I ran a little bit. Oh, I thought it was that lap. I, I ran a little bit wide on one of them. But look, eight tenths, open the DRS. Uh, Stroll doesn't have DRS because he's over a second behind Mick Schumacher. And you can see the time on the left hand side just going up. And I, I, I didn't quite understand why that was happening. But yeah, the time just. I just couldn't pull close to uh, the cars in front, even with DRS. It just wasn't happening. And then you see the car behind. Once they have DRS, look at, look at the speed that he's getting. He's getting three tenths on me there in one DRS straight. And when I had DRS, I wasn't pulling. It's really quite strange. Uh, but yeah, Max Verstappen leading the Grand Prix at this stage. We are five laps into a 14 lap race. It is a 25% distance. Um, I'm just trying to get as many laps on the board as possible, but I didn't want to do a long race so I didn't have time. So I did all three practice sessions actually, which is a first for me, I'm pretty certain. I don't think I've ever done all three practice sessions before. But yeah, definitely is gonna take some getting used to this game because the the handling that you can see there I made a massive error there just lit up the rear tires yeah the handling is extremely strange right on board go. look at the look at the speed now, I don't have the OS on stroll here but watch this but he's eight tenths behind us don't forget now six tenths behind us. He's now four tenths behind us. He's now two tenths behind us. And look, he thinks about going for a move. Yeah, when we had the RS on stroll, we couldn't get anywhere near him. And I don't know why. I know I've got the Red Bull power train, it's not the fastest engine, but look at the speed difference. You see me really struggling to get any traction. Very difficult on this game to get traction. But yeah, hopefully I will get used to it. Just, it's just a case of running more laps to be completely honest. So yeah, I'll, I'll walk you through all the stuff hopefully when I stream tonight. Uh, ooh, look at that lock up there from Joel. We're off the track. But then here he comes up. Not even in my slipstream. And look at how much he's catching. I just brought me inside, I'm leaving the room, but he just backed out of it. I think we are boxing this lap anyway, to be fair. See there again though, a massive slide on the rear. It's very hard to catch as well in this game. Uh, I just started getting used to F1 2021, basically. And now I've jumped onto this game, the handling model is completely different, so it's, it's definitely strange. Oscar Piastri decides to stay out, that's our teammate of course. Where are we? There we are. And I mistimed the uh, thing here, I, I thought we would actually turn in, but you don't, you just press a button. So I thought, oh hey, great, I'm going to get jumped by Joe, but no. We still come out in front of Joe, so that was 
very good. I was happy with that. Oscar Piastri was running third here. I didn't notice that at all. Obviously, he's not box. So. Look at this. Look at how fast he's getting caught by the cars behind. Max Verstappen, obviously, in a much quicker car. Uh, the difficulty, by the way, I will get it out there. It's not high at the minute. It's on. I think it's 90 it's on so obviously for the first few races I'll just be playing with the difficulty until I get used to it to make it more competitive uh, I'm not gonna make it really easy to score points I'm not, I'm not, I don't find that interesting so I will be running it high but not the maximum as of yet see the running wide oh nearly at the wall as well but Guan Yu has got a DRS here it comes no, no, in fact, no, look, see, he didn't have DRS, and I got a bag e bad exit, but he still caught us by four tenths in a straight line. It's mad. See, again, another big snap. So let's ride on board with Kevin Magnussen here. Look, he's got the RS and Guanyu Joe. Guanyu Joe comes for us. We are just they are trying to defend, but there's nothing we can do. Oh, what's happened there? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. But just look at the overspeed here, look. It's coming off the straight. We're flat out. We're running our ERS, and he just says bye. And then Magnuson, look at this. Oh, I thought that was a lot. See, we actually get really good traction on the exit. Use our ERS, we've got DRS open as well now, and look. We're just not catching him at all. That was with ERS and DRS, and we just were not catching. See, so yeah, look at that slide then. Yeah, the traction on this game is so difficult to manage. Of course, we will get used to it. It's just just a case of putting more time into the game, really. See Magnuson there running wide. Wow, didn't notice that when he was actually behind me. So yeah, look at here, seven tenths with the DRS and DRS, seven and a half tenths, eight tenths. It got two at the end of the straight. So we had DRS and DRS open and lost two tenths to Guan York in a straight line. It is uh, very confusing, we nearly cut that corner though, run wide. Again running wide, but look, there is the speed difference, look. He is literally just pulling away and I have the DRS open. So I don't, I don't know if that's uh, a bug, I can't imagine it being a bug though, because it's already had the day one patch, of course, so I'm playing this a little bit later than a lot of people. But we just could not catch at all. So we're just really, really struggling to keep him. We could keep right with him in the bends. Look, look how close we are through the bends. But then as soon as we come to a straight, he just disappears. Let me know what you guys think actually, if you prefer the replay like this or if you prefer like we used to do where it's uh, my perspective for the whole race. But see look, DRS is open and I'm just falling behind. Don't quite understand why. And then you see here, Belty Bottas and London Norris having a go. London Norris actually was still yet to pit I believe, I think he pits this lap. that he decides to box. No, it's not, okay. But he does box, definitely. But here we are, right. Four tenths, as you can see on the left-hand side. Oh, we got a big snap there, though. Right, so it is five tenths, okay. DRS open, six tenths. Seven tenths. Why are we not catching him? 
whereas Magnussen directly behind us is catching us rapidly. See, look, once again, look. I can keep with them in the corners. In fact, I'm actually faster than him in the corners, getting two tenths on him through that bend. But then you come to a straight and he just disappears. Three tenths now, I'm getting three tenths in one sector. I'm right on him. Absolutely right on him. You couldn't be much closer. Look, no mistakes this time. Look at that. Nice and early on the power. No snaps, nothing. And he just disappears again. DRS is wide open and I'm losing time to him. If someone can uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong there, then that would be greatly appreciated. It's not like I've put any more downforce on the car or anything. I'm running the uh, balanced default setup. So we should have been fine really for that. Half a second, look at this, I got a much better exit, it's down to four tenths and it's back up to five tenths. Meanwhile, behind, look at this. Magnuson is just pulling train lengths on us. He tries to go on our outside, I didn't even notice that I wasn't even trying to defend him. I was trying to make him roll on uh when you go. DRS was open again. Uh, did have a little lock up, but run wide. And now this gives Magnuson the opportunity to get quite close. I think we are slightly in front at the minute though. See, look, once again, in the corners, we are faster. Oh, I touched the curve there though. Okay, I thought we were going to go off there. Look, we have DRS open. And look at this, Magnus has got DRS open and he's just so much faster than us. Ooh. Notice that he tried to stick his nose on the inside, but that's the band out there. I don't know why he even thought about going for that, though, to be fair. Look at that big snap there. Oh, we are completely flat out. And again, another snap. You can see though, look. So close to him. Six tenths. DRS now open. Seven tenths. Eight tenths. I don't understand it. Why was I losing time to him when I had the DRS? Oh, we had a big snap there. straight line speed. And I think it's got to be because I had no, DR, no ERS, but look, I see Magnuson coming here, I go just sit in the middle of the track. And I say, yeah, fair enough, he's got me there, I'll let him go. Because I wasn't trying to get involved in any battles, I was just trying to get used to the car, but you see we get a much better exit than in here. We've got the DRS open. I'm right behind him, but I'm still not catching him. And look at that, we sweep it to the inside there. I'd like to see that from the outside, so we'll go here. Here we are, we're up, we think left and then we go to the inside. No contact made, and we managed to get that position back from Magnuson. Magnuson was just not expecting us to do that, clearly. But we have a bit of a slide there. But look, no lock up from me, anything under pressure. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the job I did, but look at this now, Magnuson with the DRS. I'm making go to the outside, which means we're on the inside, and I could just keep my line. And then Magnuson there, a little bit of wheel spin there, I don't know if you can see it. Look, 
try and get out of his slipstream because he's just pulling absolute car lengths on him. Two tenths again down that straight and he didn't have DRS there. So he's now six tenths behind. And look how much he catches. I decided to go right to the pit wall. I don't know what he did there. I lock up massively. I'm like, oh fuck, he's gonna come straight back past me. Look, you can see. Thought about coming back past, but I just lock it up. Look, go straight on. But then Mangston doesn't really put us too much, uh, put too much power down. See, we actually have the DRS here. I've got my DRS open, and he's still pulling ahead. But then look at this. Around the outside, nearly, nearly got him, but he just about managed to hold us off. Then again, you can see, look, we have the corner in speed. Can keep up with him in the corners. Look, right on him. Then out of the power, right on him still, but just pulls two tenths of a second in a straight line. DRS open. And I'm just falling further and further back. Look, three tenths he pulled away when I had the DRS. Confused me. But all I can say is we were ahead of our teammate in our first qualifying session and our first race. So I was very happy with that. Charles Leclerc takes the win. Max Verstappen P2, Carlos Sainz P3. Sergio Perez, disappointingly, only in 6th. But here we are, coming across the line. Now, So, I've got to be happy with that. You can see lap time wise, 33.6 for Oscar Piastri, 33.7 for myself, 33.6 for uh, Yuki Sonoda. So, I'm pretty much with them in the times. I was the 10th off Oscar Piastri, but obviously I started a bit further up. So, yeah, obviously no points scored on debut, which is a shame, but I wasn't expecting to score points, to be fair. Uh, but I'm very happy with the job we did. Uh, so let me know, guys, if you did enjoy this episode. Hopefully you did. Um, as I said, I'm going to try and work out why my car is so slow in a straight line, because it definitely seems to be the case for Piastri as well. So I think we may need to do some engine upgrades, possibly and figure that out in the next episode but if you did enjoy this one folks please feel free to press that like button you know comment subscribe tell me anything i did wrong all that good stuff but uh yeah thank you for watching folks this has been lewis i shall see you all in the next one take care